Our first guest tonight, a talented and distinctive actor whose films include The Big Chill and uh, The Fly. His latest effort is called Earth Girls Are Easy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to this program, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Jeff! Hi, Jeff. Hi. Good to see you. Good How are you? you? Thanks for being here. Oh, I'm all right. Well, I'm so humble. Jeff Goldblum. Good. How are you? Uh, as you said before. Uh, okay. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, well, maybe a couple of months ago, your your wife, the lovely Gina Davis, was here. Lovely. I can't and, agree and more. And then, like a couple of weeks later, she won an Academy Award. So that was a big night in your household, huh? Sure was. Yeah. Sure was. We were hardly at home even. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, oh, what a fun night! Yeah. She won, and then she designed that well, dress. She and, designed her uh, own dress. Did, didn't you hear that? Yeah. And I think she I was mean, universally uh, acclaimed as uh, queen of the universe yeah. and most beautiful woman at the awards. And, so uh, she won an award for designing her own dress. Is that no, what you're saying? No, I'm no, terribly no. Terribly confused. Yeah, I can see. I can see. <laughs> well, anyway, not really. Best yeah. supporting actress. Yeah. And. Lovely wife. Yeah. I'm very proud. Uh, how did you guys meet? Where? When? <laughs> in Zagreb, Yugoslavia. Ed Begley introduced us, mm -hmm. you know. And about four years ago, you, you, do you know Ed Begley? I've I, met him, sure. He's been on the show several I, times. I know. Very nice I, man. I, I know, I know. And then we got married about a, a, a year and a half ago on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't that something? <laughs> Ed Begley was there, too. We went to Las Vegas the only night that... Uh, We've been there, either of us, Gene and I, before or since. Now, I, I think I've heard this. Have I heard this she story told from you. her? Yeah, 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 yeah. She told you. So you did not necessarily go there with the idea of getting married? Completely not. It was my birthday. It was their anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we went on the spur of the moment after dinner at the Bacchanal room in Caesar's Palace. Right. Where the waiter, in order to show us the <laughs> entrees, truly held up a tray full of... The entrees that's inexplicably stuck on somehow and glazed. <laughs> as a, took a ballpoint pen out of his pocket and kind of, as he was explaining, you can have the rack of lamb, uh -huh. touching it a little bit too, or the salmon. And we, and then we got married. I don't know how it, one thing led to another. It didn't, but we did. Uh, and how long at that point had you known one another? For about three years. Oh, so it all made pretty good sense then. Very good yeah. sense. Did you have a nice, uh, and I know this is probably, well, did you have a nice wedding? I mean... <laughs> Under the circumstances, you know. Very nice. Oh, I wouldn't have had it under any other way. You know, I don't like those family events. I don't uh -huh. know about you. Oh, I love I, family I, events. You do? Oh, yeah. I'm uh, it's like the Waltons with me. Oh, uh, really? Love, yeah. You're kind of John Boy <laughs> yeah. in your way. Esque. Uh, no, I no, it was sexy and romantic. We said you want to do it. Yeah. We did, and we went to one of those the candlelight chapel. Three in the morning, now November 1st, not mm -hmm. really Halloween anymore. They said, you know, they had one of those boards like uh, Jello du jour, you know, the way, the service <laughs> du jour. You know. Do you want the veil or uh, or not, or the yeah. ring or not, or live music or yeah. tape music? We said live music, but she was on a break. Yeah. So we had the live, uh, I mean, it was the middle of the night. Do you want the videotape, which uh, we were torn about? We went for it finally. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, we, it's hard to watch. And it's too. a videotape of your wedding, not just strangers <laughs> no, getting married. Of course not. Yeah. Yes, our wedding. Uh, our wedding. And then did, later, did you have another, like a, a more traditional ceremony, or this was it? That was it. Yeah. And how, how is it working out? Well, wonderfully, wonderfully. We still find ourselves being affectionate in public, even. Really? Yeah. So, some people, you know, find that offensive. You, you know how they can, and I've, after a couple of minor incidents gotten to, to the point where I, I get offended at their being offended. We were at a restaurant well, recently. What is the level of the affection we're talking about? Because, <laughs> you know, they're... Discreet, discreet, discreet. <laughs> uh, kissing. You know, we were in a restaurant in London recently, uh, a place not inconducive to that kind of thing, uh, Aphrodisia or something, or Aphrodite was the name of the restaurant. <laughs> Cupid's all over the place and grapes and everything. We were kissing. They have kissing. one of those menus where the guy comes out and points to the veal and the salmon. <laughs> no, no, we don't look for those places. I see. That must be the only one in Vegas anyway. But so we're kissing, and I noticed this woman get, start to get kind of. Got her, got her back her, up. I hear disgusting, disgusting. A couple of so you're, but you're just kissing, sort of. Believe me. Yeah, lightly. 
I don't want to describe it in more detail, but we're... But are, are shoes flying through the air and stuff? <laughs> Certainly not. Certainly not. We're, we're kissing. Anyway, I, I, I say to myself, I'm going to, if she, I'm going to, I'm not going to let this go unanswered. If uh -huh. she leaves before we do, because she has to pass our table, I'm going to say something, you know, mind your own business, right. or something well, that, yeah, it's, articulate. It's my wife, we're married, we're in love, leave us alone. Exactly, yeah. and affection is a, you yeah. know, uh, why not? Mm -hmm. It's a... It's, a lovely thing. I, it makes some nice defense of it. We, she leaves, I notice a little bit later, but unfortunately, at the very moment that she's leaving, and quickly, I, I, how can I say that? We're, I'm, I'm doing that thing where I, I'm transferring red wine from my mouth to Gina's mouth. <laughs> and, I, and I've overestimated the amount, and some's dribbling down my uh -huh. chin. And I couldn't make an attractive, I see. Yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> defensive. Yeah. You make we it sound like a Shriner's picnic all of a sudden. Did that actually happen? Yes, it did. Okay. That's, a, that's an absolutely true all story. All right. Hey, hey, here's the deal. We're going to do a commercial, and then we'll be right back. Mr. Goldblum. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is here. Kmar and uh, Patrick Ewing. Uh, is, it, is it true that at one point uh, you were robbed? And if so, how recently? And what did they get? Yes. And? Not too long ago. Uh huh. And where? Did it happen? Yeah, they got my wallet and my car, and where did it happen? On Ed Begley's uh, front lawn, just outside <laughs> I see. of his... Ed Begley again, huh? Oh, man, he's a, a big f figure in my life. Uh, well, what happened is, several years ago, in Hollywood, he invited me over to play Monopoly. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He's a great game player, yes. isn't he? He liked Trivial Pursuit for a while. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, he was playing Monopoly this night, invited me over. I go to his house on a seemingly safe street. I pull up, I can see... The lights on in the living room, uh, I can hear them having fun already. Another car, which I haven't <laughs> noticed, pulls up. <laughs> this is absolutely true, that I haven't noticed. Now, I've parked my car, I'm going in, and I kind of say, is this somebody going into the, the place? And I don't recognize them. And the guy in the passenger seat, there were two of them, uh, says, hey, do you have the time? Mm -hmm. Something happened in my stomach, which I should have done something about. Now, I guess I would. I think that I would have run or something. Uh, I said, uh... I, by that time, he was out of the car mm -hmm. and had a gun right here in my stomach. So now you know gun. he's not a Monopoly player. <laughs> exactly. Or if he is, let him have... <laughs> yeah, everything. Uh, park, park place. place. So, I, <laughs> instinctively, instinctively, I grab the barrel of the gun. Oh! Well, oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Very touchy go. I say, I don't, don't do, do this. By that time, his partner is here. I'm not, in the, not prepared to fend him off and start going like... That, you know, I wish I could have, I can't. So in a very, in a, in a moment, I say, okay, 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 okay. He says, shh, 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 because he doesn't want anybody, uh, Ed, mm -hmm. to hear. He doesn't know Ed's in there, of course. Uh, Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. No, no, no. So, so I, I say, okay, 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 okay. He says, where's your wallet? I say, here, 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 please, oh. please, please, with my blessings. I say, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, because he's saying, shh, shh, I'm pleading for my life, which is the conventional wisdom under yeah. the circumstances. Yeah, I, I think, think so. He says, where's your car? Right there, here are the keys. Run, I do. He, they take off in the car. Weeks later, a month or two later, I go to court because they found the kids. They're young. And... There's a woman in court who recognizes me. I'm on a series at that point, 10 Speed and Brown Show or something. She mm -hmm. says, hey, I, I know you. You're, you're an actor, aren't you? My son, my son ro robbed you. Oh. Uh, I said, congratulations. Yeah. You know, I'd love to work with him yeah. again. Uh, it's, a, it's a fine lad. Just, you know, we are very just... near the end of civilization. Isn't that, that's the strangest thing I've ever heard. But weren't you just, uh, I mean, that's really one of those at the core experiences where it could have been adios. Exactly. No, yeah. truthfully, this is absolutely true, all of this. And I was, oh, it's, it's at the core. It's right. Yeah. It's ha yeah. happened to you ever? No, like, no, it's don't, amazing. Even, don't even suggest that it might. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, you're and don't have Ed Begley call me either. <laughs> you, you know what? You he get was, killed or get married? Or, or, <laughs> he, was, he was on the show, I think, the last time and told about the police coming to his house, his apartment, and finding... Uh, a headless torso in the dumpster behind his house. I know that. So story, this guy is. There's something he's odd dangerous. there. Yeah. He's dangerous. Yeah. He's a lovely, lovely guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the film uh, Earth Girls Are Easy. Very uh, interesting title. Do you think so? Well, I do. I think it's uh, interesting. It so suggests aliens coming to visit. And exactly what happens. I'm the alien. I fall by mistake into Gina Davis's swimming pool. She's a manicurist working at the Curl Up and Die, D-Y-E. Uh -huh. Did I spit on you? No, no, you didn't. No. 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 Just fixing your makeup. But no, if you'd like, go ahead. Please do. Oh, no, no, no. 
I, I, I Many of my guests you. have, so why not? Oh, yeah. So I, they're, they're wrong <laughs> if they have. Um, uh, the the well, what are we talking about? Gina Davis, you. curl yes, up and die. Yeah, I fall into a swimming pool. She she works up at the curl up and die. D Y E hair mm -hmm. salon, and we fall in love. I yeah. seduce her. That's it. So you are an alien, and you get <laughs> you get married to an Earth girl. Well, we don't get married. But I, I, yes, we, we fall in love. We fall in love. That's right. And the easy part, Earth Girls are easy? Well, you know. No, I don't know. I've not, I've not found that to be true. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> I'm only 42, so I don't know. Uh, it's out now, isn't it? No, no. Coming May, soon. May 12th, it, it May 12th, comes out. Because I've seen yeah. uh, promos for it and such. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Good. It's uh, People are interested in that extraterrestrial oh, yeah. life, you yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, the question is, is, any, is anything out there? And mm -hmm. if so, do they have ray guns? Yeah, right. <laughs> good to see you again. And, and by all means, uh, congratulate uh, your wife for us belatedly, but nonetheless, well, pass along our good wishes. Thank you Jeff Goldblum, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll be back here after station identification.